Hi guys, welcome back. It's Agricultural Simulator time. Here we are. We are just driving in to the village. And um, we've got the trailer full of goodies that we picked last time. So, um, yeah, let's just come past the animal sale. Let's just head into the market stall and uh, and see. Oh yeah, we're completely out. So, time for a delivery. Great stuff. Uh, we've just been given 250 euros trade for something. I don't know. Uh, can we sell that here? Yep. Now, if you remember, we did actually we we paid um, what for nine for picking these up from the uh, the shed in 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 the carriage um, shed, which is a bit weird. But we'll pop them on there. We'll get those sold. Oop, up you come. So she's got the old, uh, what's she got on the run? She's got a run on onions and lettuce and some pesticide. And she's got four empty milks. Oh, I've got four full milks. There you go. I think we can uh, do an exchange there. Pop some eggs. There you go, some eggs. That hasn't registered them, has it? Pop them down there then. Oh, sold straight away. Eggs are very popular, apparently. And we got plus five. Is that what we got for that? And uh, my knees gave way momentarily, but they're okay now. So let's just pick up these empty milk cans. We'll take those back. That'll be super useful. Different speed tarmax once again. Ah oh dear, the joys, the joys of agricultural simulator. Um, I was tempted to go and bring an animal back, but as we're collecting. Milk urns, probably not the best idea. Having four milk urns rattling around with an animal in the back. What I was thinking about doing is getting a horse and then we could potentially breed the horse, but you know what? that's probably too much hassle, isn't it? Okay. Let's head back. She's got some piggies there. Four piggies. Well, they got a few cows, a bull, a couple of horses, sheep. Brilliant. Okay, well, I'm going to head back to the farm. There's the farm over there. Looking beautiful. Uh, we'll just have a quick auto save, and then once that's completed, I will see you back at the farm. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, here we are. We're coming back down the drive. Fantastic. Okay, another market run successfully completed. Right, let's uh, let's take the, these milk urns uh, to the cow shed, and we'll dump them in the cow shed, ready to go. Right, with that done, I think. We can probably skip on time. We've got that grass we're waiting to go to hay. So we can get some baling done, get some hay collection. And they're obviously waiting for our crops to grow and also the greenhouse produce to grow as well. So, all a lot of sitting around doing not a lot at the moment. So, first things first, let's get these. There's a bale. Beneath the, uh, beneath the turf. Oh, walking so slow. Boom, she's in. Right, let's just pick that bale up. What are you doing there, hey? What are you doing there? Let's shove you on there. Brilliant. Do, 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 do. Uh, it's like we run out of energy when we just get through the doors. It's like, ugh, gravity. Gravity's pull becomes five times heavier or something, I don't know. Well, gravity's pull doesn't become heavier, but the actual force becomes stronger, it makes it, yeah, you know what I mean. Anyway, come on, oh, break through that force field, we're through, woo. Let me go super, super rocket speed straight into the back of the, uh, the animal shelter wagon thing. Okay, great, that is that done. I'm talking rubbish as usual, let's Clunk that down, let's close that up, and let's skip on. It's 9.27 in the morning, but boom, let's skip on till the next day. Let's just check on the uh, the greenhouse, see how things are going. Things are growing, look at this, and the hay has dried out, which is great. So that is on level 4, that is on level 4, let's whack those up to level 5 then, they need some more water by the looks of it. 
Did that one work? Yeah, it did. These ones are okay. The onions, they're not too bad. Keep an eye on them next time. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, okay. You're not overwater them as well. So, right, now that those lot are done and they're on the way, let's start to seed these. Let's put some potatoes in there and some potatoes in there. Water level looks okay to begin with. And in here we can put um, tomatoes and tomatoes. Well, what's the water level like? The water level is a little bit much actually, but we'll leave it there just to bed them in with a bit more water. That's fantastic. Um, we've got some hay to collect, so let's get the, the little tractor for this. It's got a, a force pushing us to the side. Out of the way, Chucky. Start this old beast up. And away we go. Oh, auto save before we go. There we go. Now we go. Now, thank you for your comments, especially around the uh, different speed changes in speed of the tractors and that kind of thing. And obviously, the, the suggestion was to um, cultivate little roads on the field so that everything stays at the same speed, which is a good idea. Um, but I'm too lazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm too lazy. But we'll see how that goes. Let's just um connect these up. Where's the PTO? There it is, and that goes on there. Great. So let's get uh, let's move the rake down and activate it. Oh, look at that motion! Fantastic! Right, let's collect this. Oh. Let's get this straw then. Oh no, it's hay. Beg your pardon. Let's get this hay. Poetry in motion. It hasn't come down a bail yet, but that's okay. It obviously holds about four or five bales on the actual machine before it spits one out, so I'm not terribly worried. I did I did put the end down, yes I did, they are starting to be spat out now, which is great news. So yeah, this has proved, touch wood, my desk and my head, um, that this has proved particularly pleasingly uh, to be reasonably reliable at the moment. Yeah, we haven't had any major bugs crop up so far, which is pretty good going for this game, to be honest with you. I think once the crop actually ripens and grows and is full, you know, full height and full crop. Um, we may see some glitching then, but at the moment, fingers crossed, this game is going really well. Watch me jinx it now and everything will shoot upside down and will fall through the earth or something crazy like that, but it seems to be okay. Now I did have the comment asking what have I done to the game to, uh, to make it stable. Now there was a change I made. Now I can't remember for the life of me what it was. I've searched the forum to try and find out you know, the post I saw which made me do the change and I can't find it. So um, I'll keep looking and since I find it I will let you know but at the moment I can't find it. I can't remember what I did because it was a couple of months ago now and I can't remember what I did yesterday let alone a couple of months ago. Okay, so we're just, I'm just going to pick this stuff up at the end. Because it's messy and uh, it'd be nice just to get out of the way. Wow, those fields look amazing though, don't they? 
I say fields, it's one field, but you know what I mean. Really pleased how that's turned out. Right, let's uh, take this from this side. See what we can collect. Only red bales are open. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, and there's some scan there. And a few in there. Oh, maybe a few more by the time we finish this. Oh, bit of a sharp turn. Spat out another bale, though. Oh, I missed it. Oh, nice. Okay, that's it. That is all. A bit of, a little bit of straw over there, but I think that'll do. She's half full. Let's activate. Switch her off. Wait for the uh, everything to stop. Great. And we'll stick our hands in it. Uh, auto save. God, every it only auto saves when I'm about to do something. It makes me think it's just crashed. Blooming game. Still playing tricks. Still playing its own little tricks. Uh, is that it? I can't see any more bales in there. Put the door up then. Oh. Great. Let's go and put this out of the way. In cover somewhere. Or under cover somewhere. Or I might just park it on the side here. For now. It's a nice, nice sunny day, so it's nothing to worry about. Right. Disconnect that, disconnect that. Let's go and get the other tractor with the trailer and we'll go and collect them up. Got a lovely greenhouse doing wonders. We'll check the water after this to make sure that's okay. Um, we did put a big water tower on there, but we didn't really need to. That's a bit of a waste of time, really, but we did it nonetheless. Right. Shame you can't leave the tractor running when you jump out. That would be quite a good little touch. Hola. What da? Right. Way. Okay. Back in the tractor. I think there was an errant one that spat out over here somewhere. Yeah, it did. So we'll um, we'll go and collect that first. Then we'll stop at regular points down that line and start picking them up. And we'll let this field uh, regrow or potentially plough it up again. But I think we'll I think we'll uh, leave it for now, let it regrow, and then we'll decide what we want to do with it. We'll see how um, that field gets on with the the harvest, and see if that's reasonably stable. Because the last thing I want to do is plant another field, which causes more load on the um, already fragile uh, game, and uh, causes all sorts of craziness. So yeah, we'll, we'll just try it with those those two crops in that one field for now and if that seems to be okay come harvest time then we may well plow this up as well for a second field and we'll do some proper single crop fields in maybe make two fields out of this can we look sideways so what I mean is we could have um, fields like that where the darkness is, not the band, the actual, and then we could have one maybe like that, so we could have two little fields up there. Yeah, possibilities, possibilities, things we could do. Or we could have similar approaches that we did on field one, with the nice big long field. <laughs>
be nice if we could get like a, a scoop or some sort of like snow plow on the front of the tractor. So you could drive along pushing them. Whoop. Came out a bit of a lick then. We could push the bales along into like a big heap and then we can just load them on every so often. That'd be quite good. See if there is a like a bulldozer attachment. I don't see why there would be. But this is an agricultural simulator. There's lots of things in here which aren't being used. And lots of things which are not in the game which should be used, but hey ho. Almost done. That's not going to take them any time at all. Can we just try maybe drive over that or that? Let's see how that what that's done. Nothing, I just Ah, but they have jammed under the trailer, which is quite good. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Auto save. Spat it out of my foot. Fantastic. Try and wiggle this one out. Oh, it came out much easier. Right, any more bales under there? One thing to always bear in mind is to make sure you've got hold of the bale properly, so not to move until it's stopped spinning. Like now, we can move it and we know we we're not going to let it go. Right, I think we good. We good? We good. There's always going to be one left on the field, there always is. Oh, missed. No, it all looks fine, doesn't it? Fine and dandy. Right, let's drive to the uh, the hay barn then. Get these stacked. Woo, and we look for another job. Happy days. Not the easiest trailer in the world to reverse, but it's not too bad. So now offload them. Two. Just going to count them. Three. Whoa. A four. What do you reckon? About 17, I reckon. Uh, Five. Horse wants some attention, even though he ignores me every time I go and talk to him. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Okay, fine. That's grand. I wasn't a million miles out, but uh, yeah, great. I'll keep him going. the horse? No, he's still, still ignoring us. Look. What is it, Neddy? Ned! Hello, Ned! 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 Hello, Neddy. You gonna turn around and come say hello? No, fine. Sod ya. Bloody horse. I was, gonna, I was gonna get you some company. I was. But, uh, screw that. I might just sell you for glue. Come here. I go up to Gallus. Gallus is lovely. Even the chickens are friendly. The pigs are friendly. They oink away nicely. The cows are lovely. But the horse? No. No. Fine. I don't know. Anyway, right, let's get this quickly done and then we can find ourselves another. Oh god, I'm sick of jumping through the, uh, the roof of this trailer. What? He's making all these noises because he doesn't want to be ignored. So he wants our attention, but then he just ignores us when we go and give him some attention. I could pull on his tail, I guess, and that would certainly get a reaction from him. Oh, I don't know if I counted that bale in the corner there. 
Who knows? About 1920 bales, so that's all we need to know. Don't need to know the exact figure. So that is grass and hay baled this year and collected. So we can do the straw when that is ready to go. And we'll have everything then. Fantastic. Chop that down there. Right, let's find a task. We were going to check on the water supply, weren't we, for the greenhouse? We'll run on the, the, uh, the cobbles, because for some reason we run a lot quicker on the cobbles. Uh, can we... No, nothing from that. Right, the water tank has... Uh, it's got it's got enough. What's this tank got? This has got... That's the milk tank. What are these? No, that's the milk. Okay, I can't get away from the milk. But I'm guessing because that's still got just under 3,000 litres, they must be full then. That's fine. We'll leave that for now. We've got our collection wagon here, which is just sitting on the uh, on the grass. Uh, auto save completed. Great. We've got the fields, which were sprayed last time. Great. Um, what should we do? Try it out. Pigs there, still ignoring each other. Those two are a bit fast and friendly. Um, right, I reckon we skip on a day and see the results. So we do about 34 minutes work and then we need to skip on. Boom. So the crops are growing nicely. And they're not glitching out, which is nice as well. Uh, let's go and check on the, um, the the pigs food was fine. But let's go and check on the greenhouse. I will just check on the uh, the eggs and the milk while we are here. Oh, this is looking really good now. Water levels okay. Water levels okay. Water levels great. Water levels fine. Water levels great. Quality is really poor on these carrots. Yeah, didn't get that right at all, did I? Um, water level's okay. Water level's okay. Okay, okay. Yep. 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 Last four. It's a bit overwatered, but we'll leave it for now. And that's... Bot on, spotty dog, fantastic. Okay, quick check on the eggs situation. Got uh, almost a full tray. It's got three more to fill that tray. They've got food in there, great. Quick check on the milk situation. They've got food, yeah. Uh, wow, three of them have been filled. Great. It's another five to go. Well done, Moo Moo's brilliant stuff. Boris is obviously making him lactate from all his uh, his uh, bullish charms. Right, so I really don't have anything to do today, which is a bit weird. Uh, check on the greenhouse. Ah, oh, look, the, these are still respawning. This is fantastic news. Are there a chicken in here? We don't want a chicken in here, for heaven's sake. We'll eat all the corn. No, it's just really loud. Okay, fine. Um, so I might end the episode early because there's literally not a lot I can do apart from skip on time and we'll probably do that to start the next episode so yeah I'll probably skip on I'll keep going back and forth to the market and next time hopefully this won't be ready to to, to harvest but that'll be pretty you know substantial growth by then and hopefully the greenhouse will be in a situation where we can at least harvest that and take those down to market as well as well as the milk we've already got and the eggs which are nice, nicely being produced as well. So before I choke, I'll leave it there. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a short one, but uh, I'm sure you understand why. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have, hit that like button. It really does help support the series and the channel, and I would really appreciate it. And join me next time for more Agricultural Simulator fun. So I'll see you next time.